Hi there. One of the ways you can storyboard outside of drawing on a piece of paper is to use Google Presentations. You know Google Presentations is very similar to PowerPoint and here I'm using the new version of Google Presentations. It was updated sometime um, fall of 2011. What I like about it is that you can use some of the features that are available in Google Docs to draw and uh, insert pictures for your, for your story. Now uh, here I have the title slide, I just fixed it up to just something generic. You can come up here to the insert menu, click on that and drop down and choose new slide. Now you'll get this, uh, this generic or defaulted slide, so go ahead and click on those text boxes and delete them. And here we want to insert a background, something that represents where we want our, our uh, video to take place. So I just can go in here to the insert menu again, drop down and choose image. Now this is great because um, you can upload an image, so maybe something you took a picture of before you, uh, you know, in the planning of your video. Um, you can also uh, link to something, but here you can search the internet. So I'll just search for a park. Now all these pictures that are return, um, you might be able to see that here, are, are labeled for commercial reuse. So you could actually publish this if you wanted because these are royalty free or Creative Commons pictures. So for this, uh, illustration here, I'm just going to click on one of these pictures, go ahead and hit select, and that will insert directly into my slide. Now I want to adjust that so you can see the entire image uh, and go from here. Now mind you, I'm just beyond the borders of the actual slide, so you can see over here on the right that um, not the entire picture isn't being seen, so be careful as you're drawing. So here's, uh, here's an image, maybe this is the park that I want to Maybe it's the actual park, but most likely not. But uh, Maybe it represents something like I, I want my scene to take place in. Uh, now I'm going to come up here again to the Insert menu, and I'm going to choose Shapes. Now um, you can also notice that uh, the new features here, um, the shapes are right here on the uh, formatting toolbar. I can click on that, and the first thing I want to do is draw maybe the head of my character, just to kind of put that maybe in a medium shot. So I'm just going to draw... Uh, the head here. Now the gray is so dull and boring. I can, while this is selected, I can choose the uh, paint bucket. Go down and let's just make them yellow, just to uh, kind of make it stand out. Now, now we want his shoulders, right? Um, the best way I've seen to do that is to uh, again choose a shape, but this time choose a triangle. I'm just going to draw a triangle here. Now it's upside down, so I'm just going to spin that triangle around and there are his shoulders. So I can make those a little bit bigger. Now uh, this person has no neck, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just right click this and choose order and send it backwards. That way then the head kind of uh, stands above the neck. Now um, arms are just as easy. I'm going to use the line tool instead. I'm going to drop down, just choose a regular line, and uh, I'm going to draw it from the shoulders. And let's make the other hand, or the other arm, waving. Now that's a very thin arm, uh, someone needs to work out a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, the thickness, the line weight. There we go. And then uh, let's go ahead and change the color to something a little bit more visual. Um, there we go, line color, and then uh, I'll just make it yellow. So here's this other arm, I can do the same thing here, make that line color, and then I can also go ahead and uh, change the weight of that as well. So now I have a character waving. The problem is you don't really know who, what they look like uh, or what direction they're looking. So we can use, again, the line tool, but this time let's use the curved line. And um, I'm just going to do three points. One, two, three. All right, just double click that. So now I have this, the nose, maybe the nose direction. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, take another straight line and draw it directly across uh, for eyes. Right, so now um, we have this person kind of looking in that direction, and then um, let's say they're talking, maybe it's a scene where they're talking, and I can actually put a, uh, a mouth there, and I'll just fill that up uh, with some gray. So here we have a character in a medium shot, yelling, or at least pointing or waving to somebody around. And, and we can do that, uh, we can actually describe that shot like we would in any other storyboard here in the notes. So I'm gonna put medium shot, um, Bob in the park. Bob um, yells to Eric 
to stay right there. So that is as simple as that. I can actually go in and insert more slides and do the exact same thing. I would put Eric on the other side, maybe in a different picture. Uh, maybe I would even be able to zoom into this picture to kind of show that Eric is in the background or something like that. But those are just using the basic drawing tools in uh, Google presentations just to do a storyboard. Now the best part about this is that not only is, you know, am I working on it, but I could come up here, click on the share button, and add other people from my group into this and, uh, and assign different slides to each of the members of my group just to kind of get through the script faster. Great. I hope that helps.